Okay, today we are looking at wax moths. And this is a situation where I had a hive that died out and I wasn't able to get back to it fast enough. And since the hive had died out and wasn't controlling the wax moth population anymore, the wax moths took over. And this is what I find when you open it up. So you can see down in here, uh, obvious signs of wax moths. These are cocoons from when the wax moths have eaten enough protein and they're ready to pupate into full adults. So those are the cocoons here and here. Here you see the webbing. This is all the webbing that the larvae, the caterpillars create as they're eating their way through the wax. And all these fine little dots are not wax moth larvae. That's actually the poop or the fecal matter from the things. From the larvae, if you are squeamish, you can call it frass, which is a entomological term for, term for bee poop or insect poop, frass. So here's a deep box, which also has multiple cocoons. You can see the cocoons here between the frames. And those cocoons will often have larvae in them. And the cocoons are also what uh, cause the divots that you see in the woodwork. So if I pull this out, you're going to see how nasty it is. We haven't even pulled it out yet. And there, by the way, right there is an adult wax moth. Right there. And for those of you who don't know, this little thing is the egg case of a cockroach. So the females drop the egg case and the babies will hatch out of it. Here you go. Here's nastiness. This is the damage that wax moths do. They've eaten all of the comb and shredded it, and the larvae leave these webbings behind. It smells rather disgusting. Fortunately, it doesn't smell like rotting things, but it does smell like old, musty, decaying wood chips or something. And we want you to see this here, too. See this? See all that webbing there along the side of the box? Wax moths will destroy comb if the comb is left in a dark place with not a lot of air flow. If the comb is left out in the sun and the air flow, the wax moths will ignore it. They are looking for a dark, airless place. These combs are pretty much unusable. I could clean all of this up, but it would take me more time and more energy to clean up this frame than it would to just buy a new frame and put new wax in it and go. So there's not much I'm going to do with that frame except throw it on the wood pile. Other frames like this one didn't have any pollen in it. So although it was in the box, the wax moss left it alone. And it is a perfectly good usable frame. There's nothing wrong with the comb. What I can do is take all the debris that's on the top, run a wire brush over it, clean it up pretty good. And I can put this back into a hive. There's a wax moth cocoon right underneath there with the larvae sticking out of it. You can see the, the larvae. I've squashed it and it's sticking out the side. They would clean that up for me if I want it, but why make them do more work than they have to? So I just clean this frame up, give it a good brushing down. And you can use it again. It has no residual diseases or wax moss or anything that's going to reinfect your hive. This is a usable frame. It can go right back in. Ones that are destroyed this badly, it'll cost you more time and effort to repair it and clean it up than it's worth. Just buy a new one. Cost you two dollars to buy a new one. It'll cost you 20 minutes to clean that frame up. So there's some really severe wax moth damage. Don't neglect your hives like I did on this one and let them get this bad. I've lost 30 frames here because I didn't get to it soon enough. Don't make my mistakes. Lessons learned.